Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. And today on Adventures in the Third Dimension, we're going to review SD Gundam Dimensions War for the Virtual Boy. SD Gundam Dimensions War for the Virtual Boy was published by Bandai and developed by Locomotive Corporation. It released December 22nd, 1995 in Japan. SD Gundam Dimensions War for the Virtual Boy is a Japanese exclusive and one of the very rare titles for the system. It is also believed to be the last game released for the Virtual Boy in Japan. This turn-based strategy game is based on the popular anime series named Gundam. Particularly, this game is about the SD series, or Superior Defender series, in which the art style went for a more of a chibi style, in which the characters were more cutesy compared to their normal counterparts. The premise of this game is that there's been an ongoing war in the universe, and amidst all the fighting, the war situation has gotten worse. Armed enemy forces retrieved new mobile suit models that had just been developed at each base. Troops were dispatched in order to be deployed to the front lines. G-Force, the force that was organized around the Gundams, was tasked with destroying the enemy forces and recovering mobile suits. Then they raided into the battlefield. Upon repeating the battles a number of times, G-Force received information on the existence of new enemies and all new mobile suit models. There is now a new mission from the military headquarters. Attack the new enemy mobile suits. Together with the new mobile suit models that were recovered, G-Force starts out once again for a new battlefield in order to destroy the new enemy mobile suits. The controls for the game are as follows. The left D-pad moves the cursors and units on the map screen and will move units on the battle screens. The right D-pad executes weapons attacks on the battle screens. A accepts selections on the map screen. B cancels selections on the map screen. L moves your mobile suit Gundam up one foreground plane on battle screens. R moves your mobile suit Gundam down one background plane on the battle screens. Start pauses the game. Select also brings up the save command and while paused allows for IPD adjustment. The gameplay starts you out on a grid in space. Your job is to strategically move your Gundams and ships across the board, avoid debris, and survive an onslaught attacks from rival Gundams. The ultimate goal is to defeat the enemy battleships in each of the eight stages. If you're wondering which characters on the map screen are yours, your characters always face away from you and your enemies are always facing towards you. This helps differentiate between the ships and suits on opposing sides and makes it a little easier to stand out against the red and black background. When you're on the map screen, you're given a choice of things to do with your turn, such as move, attack, ambush, and indirect. Move is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to choose your Gundam or ship and move it across the map screen in an allowed number of spaces. You'll need to move all of your ships and Gundams before your turn can be ended. Attack is when you're next to an enemy and would like to take them out manually. Ambush is when you're hidden behind debris and an enemy comes towards you without making contact. You can then ambush the enemy and gain a slight advantage in the battle. Indirect is when you're somewhat close to an enemy, but not quite directly in the path of it, but would like to try and take it out anyway. These happen to be automatic battles, and they appear on a slightly different battle screen. Keep in mind that these attacks don't always cause a lot of damage. Once you've engaged in battle, you'll be taken to a different screen where you can battle the enemy. Depending on the type of battle you've engaged in, the screen may be a little different. When battling another Gundam suit, you begin at a long distance battle screen, and you see the enemy far off in the distance. You have mere seconds to make your shots, while avoiding enemy fire as they get closer to you. Afterwards, you'll be taken to the next battle where you and the enemy will be able to move up and down through the top, middle, and bottom planes while trying to take each other out within the time limit. If you're a ship battling a Gundam, or a ship battling another ship, the mechanics of the battle screen change. During those kinds of battles, you're thrown into an automatic battle. No controls are needed. If you're a Gundam facing a ship, you'll be brought to a battle screen similar to the auto battle screens, except this time you can control your Gundam and shoot back at the enemy. These battles are one of the few manual battles with ships. During my playthrough, I felt that the game's lack of color really hurt the gameplay. It shows the most when you're on the grid screen, because a lot of the sprites just appear jumbled and hard to make out. 
The music isn't terrible, but in my opinion, it's not the best the system had to offer. The controls are a little hard to get used to when you're having a one-on-one -on -one Gundam battle, otherwise the controls are fairly decent. I beat this game in one go, with absolutely no game overs and no save states used. This game is just really easy in my opinion, and I was able to beat it without knowing what the hell I was doing, so if that doesn't say anything about it, I don't know what will. If you're looking to add this game to your library, get ready to shell out a shit ton of money. A loose copy is virtually non-existent, and a complete in-box copy goes for around $1,100. Is this game worth buying? I personally don't think so. Especially not for the price tag that it comes with. If you enjoy these kinds of strategy games, it might be worth a try via emulation or a flash cart. If you're absolutely insane and want to buy a physical copy, fret not, the game is entirely playable for non-Japanese speakers. The only Japanese text in the game are the title and the text between the levels explaining the story. If you'd prefer an English experience, there does exist a patch for this game that translates everything into English. However, that would have to be played via emulation or loaded onto a flash cart. So, that was my review of SD Gundam Dimensions War for the Virtual Boy. Let me know what you guys thought of the game and the video in the comments below. And until next time, guys, take care.